Witch book. I didn't see that there last time either. Wow, I missed a it's a few book. stuff. Can I actually take it? Sweet. The omnipresent screen. I don't pretend to know how it works, but all the data apparently passes through tiny little black holes in the fabric of our dimension. You know, that really freaks me out when I think about it. TVs are made of black holes now. Awesome. They really knew how to design tacky furniture back in the late 22nd century. <laughs> Alright, Fiona. This is a pretty big dialogue tree, I think. At least it morning, felt Fiona. like it took forever the first time Good I morning, played through darling. it. Good morning, darling. You're up early. Yeah, I couldn't sleep. Are you feeling all right? You look a little pale. Just a little. I had a bad dream. I had a bad nightmare. Again? Well, you're not the only one, darling. Mickey woke me up screaming in the middle of the night. She wouldn't go back to sleep until I made her a cup of herbal tea. Nightmares? <laughs> Apparently. But she refuses to tell me what they were. I I'm think she's I'm suddenly thinking of Resident Evil that 5. Sound like Mickey? Where... I know, darling. I think her name Don't was Sheva, so. just the way she, she said her, she so said her, in my her, her. Just get the hell out of me. I don't know yeah. why I have nightmares. I guess they could be stress-related. After all, the exhibition's right around the corner. Oh, yes. The school exhibition. How's that going? God, don't ask. I have no idea how I'm going to finish my painting on time. I haven't felt inspired in ages. Too bad. I think you work too hard, darling. You need to relax once in a while. Live. Enjoy your youth. There's inspiration to be found in hedonism, you know. No, I don't know, but apparently you do. <laughs> I'm an authority on the subject, darling. Ask Mickey. She'll tell you I don't lift a finger around the place unless I absolutely have to. Okay, well let's get started. Where's everybody this morning? Mickey's tied up in the really? basement. Mind you, she's not literally uh. tied up, of course. Although that is a tempting thought. Are you getting into your sexual fantasies here, Fiona? Because it's a little too early in the morning for that, don't you think? Sorry, I just can't I'm help sure myself. Sure you can. Anyway, the plumbing is... You probably noticed when you took a shower, yeah? There's no hot water. So Mickey's working on that. Getting knee-deep in putrid canal water is her job. Thank God. What about Charlie? He up yet? No, he's still sleeping. And Emma just went to bed. I saw her come in when I was making breakfast. Do you know who she's seeing nope. now? I don't know. Some guy? Those lads I see her with, darling. She's too good for those assholes. Harsh. I should find herself a man who'd treat her right for once. She hasn't had much luck with love, no? She's a magnet for creeps. And she's so pretty. They prey on her, you know. Bastards. I've tried to talk to her about it, but... Emma's impulsive. Too she doesn't bad. listen. She's just as headstrong as you and me, darling. But I'm sure she'll be all right. She's smart and resourceful, and not afraid to speak up for herself. Shouldn't you be outside enjoying yeah. the good weather? You joking? Bollocks to that. I'll stay inside until September, thank you very much. It's too bloody hot. Yeah. I'd take hotness over coldness any day. Can I ask you a few questions? Why, sir? No, September's not too bad. At least where I live. <laughs> Tell me about Emma. Emma? Why? She's your best friend, darling. I don't know what to tell you that you don't already yeah, know. I you probably should already close. do that. <laughs> That's true. The day we met, we clicked instantly. It was strange, but cool. Like me and Mickey, then. Except for the sex, of course. That's a pretty big <laughs> except for Fiona. Oh, I guess so. She's the crazy one, Emma is. 
Not crazy as in mad as a hatter, but crazy in a good way. Fun to be around. Emma's always been a little weird. Exactly, this darling. This is kind of how we find team. out how every like about everyone feet. and no wonder. what they're She's like. A looker. I don't just have to tell you. A very, I'm very, sure she very could brief. If she'd wanted. Like She's an artist info and a good about one too. Everyone. I really think she'll be a successful artist. Her sculptures are getting a lot of attention. What did you think of me when we first met? That's a peculiar question, isn't it? I thought you were quite lovely. I still do, darling. Do you remember the day I arrived? Of this course, is how we darling. Found it wasn't that long ago. And I'm not about seen our quite yet. When she arrived. It was in May, wasn't it? Charlie referred you to me, and you were quite at a loss. First day in the city, wasn't it? I remember. You looked like a lost puppy. Lost puppies are puppy? so cute. Puppy? Me? When I saw you lugging that suitcase across the bridge, my heart went out to you. I'm glad you came here. You could have been lost anywhere else. How long have you known Charlie? Oh, he's one of our oldest tenants. It's close to three years, I believe, since he moved in. Charlie is always in a good mood, and he's such a gentleman. I agree. He's an actual, genuine gentleman. And you don't see a lot of gentlemen these days, trust me. You have a very good friend in him, darling. Perhaps even more than a friend. What do you mean, more than a friend? Not for me to say, darling. If you don't realize it yet, you will. <laughs> What's up with Zack Lee? Zack? I think we both feel the same way about him, darling. He's not actually a bastard. If he was, I'd have had him out of here in an instant. But he is an ass and a stuck-up, pompous, arrogant wanker. My thoughts, exactly. Aside from that wanker bit. Still, he pays his rent on time and he doesn't make a lot of noise. He keeps to himself. And most importantly, he's shit scared of me. So I can't just kick him out. Tell me a little bit about yourself, Fiona. Me? Why? It's not much to say, darling. I love my job. I love Venice. And I love being with Mickey. I'm a happy girl. Happy, huh? Good. Sure, sometimes I wish I could go back to England to see my family, but that's water under the bridge, so to speak. I'm very happy with myself and my life here in Newport. Newport, huh? Tell me something about the border house. Can you tell me something about the border house? That's one of my favorite topics, darling. What precisely do you want to know? And... Yeah, um... <laughs> what made you decide to run a boarding house? Like I said, That's I knew this story. was going to be kind of a one long One of the reasons Mickey tree. and I got together was that we shared a passion for the classic English country inns. You know... Quaint, weathered buildings, funny old ladies, and oddly suggestive names like the Lazy Cock. <laughs> uh -huh. So why come here to the big city? To America? We wanted to create a place with a similar atmosphere and hospitality here in Newport. Like a safe house for people like you and I to call home, if only for a short while. So we discussed different options for a few months, and then we decided we wanted to start a boarding house for young, penniless students and artists. So apparently, I'm a penniless. You decided you wanted to do that here in Venice. Student. We knew that Venice was an a place for us long awesome. before we came here, but the hard part was finding a building cheap enough. And this building was available. Not at first. Like most of the buildings in Venice, this one used to be a factory. But when we first looked at it, a local company was planning to turn it into a bar and nightclub. It was so perfect for our purposes, though, that we appealed to the Venice Borough Council. And after outlining our plans, they gave us the go-ahead at a reduced price, provided we kept our promises regarding our tenants. All right. Thanks for the information. I don't think the other I'm stuff is too out, important, darling. so... Uh. 
I don't have any but, more questions right yeah, now. I'm just going to continue don't on. Don't hesitate asking if there's something else like you I said, want to know. Like I said, a really long dialogue tree. I'd better get going. Oh, wait. Off to school. Yeah, there are no more classes this semester, I but I have to finish there my was a ring next Thursday. Freaking thing For that what I it's needed worth, to... darling, good luck. And don't work too hard, all right? Uh, I would forget. I would freaking forget. Hi. I'm sorry. Hello, darling. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, Can I ask you a few more questions? Ring, ring, ring. I don't mind, darling. Ask away. Oh, wait. Duh. What am I doing? It wouldn't be underneath this. Thanks for your oh, help, Fiona. Oh, I'm such a noob. You're welcome, darling. <laughs> See you later, Fiona. Have fun, darling. Now, how this works is inventory screen. Grab note. Show it to her or do whatever. I saw this note on the corkboard. I think the ring might belong to me. I'm sorry I have to ask, but could you describe the ring? Sure thing. It says Sweet Sixteen. My dad gave it to me. I think it was the only birthday of mine he remembered, or at least acknowledged. Well, that's yes, kind of sad. that's the one. I found it under the sofa when I was vacuuming. Here you are, darling. Thanks. It's not worth much, but it's got a certain sentimental value for me. It's a very pretty ring. Yeah, yeah it is. My dad never gave me anything pretty before or since. He must have won a poker game or something that day. You know what's strange? I don't hate him. He's a bastard and he treated me like crap almost every single day of my life. But I don't hate him. I feel sorry for him. Mm. Why? Because he doesn't know how to love. He can't love anybody or anything. And because he'll be miserable every second of every minute of every day until the day he dies. Oh. That's...